Look at this fluffy butt. Give me that fluffy butt. Huh? Hey, what's up, guys? It's more the Chief, aka the Chef, aka Chromatic Pat, bringing you a brand new episode of Brawl Stars. We're inside of today's video. Before we get into some crazy legendary action, I've got some news on the new update coming inside of Brawl that just released today. Now, Supercell ended up putting out another little teaser on their Twitter with this image that you can see right here. And the meaning behind this image, I've got some exclusive news about, which I'm super excited to share with you guys right now. Now, before I spill the beans, let me take five seconds to say use code Pat, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, all the above. Let's get into the those details. So Chromatic's going to end up being the newest rarity of Brawler available inside of Brawl Stars, and the Chromatic Brawlers are going to appear on the Brawl Pass itself. So this basically confirms, first of all, that the Brawl Pass is going to act like a Battle Pass inside of the game, to where if you get the Battle Pass, my speculation is that you automatically unlock this Chromatic Brawler, which is really cool. Maybe you have to do some challenges or whatever to get it done. But for you guys who don't end up getting this Brawler from the Brawl Pass, the Chromatic Rarity is going to be really interesting. So the season that the Chromatic Brawl ends up coming out. If you guys are free to play and you try to get the brawler, it's going to have the same percentage chance as a legendary. So let's say, you know, uh, this coming season, they release a new chromatic brawler. If you're trying to pull it from a chest, you're going to end up having the same chance of getting it as you would with the legendary. Now, what's really cool is that every season after that brawler comes out, it's going to become easier to get. So for the first season, you're going to have the chance of getting a legendary to get that chromatic brawler. The next season, you're going to have the same chance as a mythic brawler to get that brawler and then the final season from season I guess three onwards you're gonna have the same chance to get that brawler as with an epic brawler so it's constantly getting easier and easier to get over time that's the purpose of these brawlers to where they start out pretty difficult to get and then over time they have the same chance as an epic and it makes it much more attainable for free-to-play players you can even see by the image that they leaked that it's got a little bit of a tint of the legendary color a little bit of a tint of mythic as well as a little bit of a tint of epic so you can see why they call it chromatic all in all that's a high level overview of how the chromatic brawlers work if you get the brawl pass it seems like you get them instantly if you don't get the brawl pass they start out with as a legendary chance and then they slowly get easier to the same chance as an epic to make it easier for free to play players to unlock now my personal feedback on this i'm not really sure if i can give it yet because i don't even know how this brawl pass works i don't even know exactly how the chromatic brawlers are going to feel i know just as much as you guys know about right now as far as the upcoming update goes so i'm sort of interested to see how things play out but i know that brawl all stars if anything else has always been more fair than any other supercell game when it comes to their free-to-play players so i assume that obviously they're not going to be launching every single brawler through brawl pass everything going through there i imagine that they're still going to keep free-to-play players very very happy so uh, let's wait and see for the update to come out before we give any more feedback let me know what you guys think about the new chromatic brawler rarity in the comments section below do you like it do you like how it scales do you think it's silly do you hate the brawl pass i'm open to hear all your feedback but of course we'll know more when the brawl talk ends up dropping on may 9th that is going to do it for the sneak peek right here. Let's get into the video that I originally I had scheduled today where we're going to be using all four legendary brawlers and seeing if we can pick up a tribe win. Hey, what's up, guys? It's more the Chief, a.k.a. the Chef, a.k.a. the number four hold of pickles, bringing you a brand new episode of Brawl Stars, where inside of today's video, we're going to be hopping into a special legendary challenge inside of Brawl, where we're going to be playing all four of the legendary brawlers, deeming which one is the best. But first, guys, I've owed you this since last week, and this is going to end up being an official Chief Cat cam inside of this video, and hopefully she doesn't run away. As you know, Chief Cat is my right-hand woman. She sits next to me on my desk all day long. We've got the camera set up. Hopefully, I don't scream and make her run away, but she's fluffy as always if you guys want more chief cat cam let's get this video to 6,000 likes but let's go and hop into some battles right now using all four of the legendary brawlers now obviously we've got spike crow leon and sandy i've been pretty lucky with legendaries if you guys saw my lex video i just did recently and we're going to be playing each brawler just once inside of solo showdown and whichever brawler comes out near the top of the list top of the rankings is going to be the best legendary brawler at least until our next video. Let's do it. We've got Spike kicking it off at number one on our list. Of course, if you guys ever want to get a legendary brawler, make sure you're using code PAT to get that luck chance increased. Guys, with a cat like this, how could you not be lucky? Let's keep it moving. Spike, of course, literally has been strong since day one that I played Brawl Stars, which was September of 2018. And I don't really see that changing anytime soon. With a dynamic kid with so much damage, there's nothing else you could really want from a brawler like Spike. And guys, let's play this one cool. I don't want to be throwing and going full potato right now, especially with Chief Cat making her famous appearance. We can't be just taking massive L's with Chief Cat cheering us on. And uh, yeah, we'll take cube number two we probably made a mortal enemy in that pam so we need to be a little bit careful there but closing in on our super we're going to be in an a-ok -okay spot let's check this little box right here guys spike gonna run in and shoot a wall on this side 
And man, I'm scared. I am just a little bit scared right now. Let's throw this against this Pam. I have no idea who's over here. Shelly obviously gonna be triggered as Shelly's always are. That was a little bit awkward. That's not what we wanted inside of that one. I thought Spike would actually be the golden goose for us to kick this one off, but guys, clearly Chief Cat throwing out a stretch right there. We gotta make sure we're on top of our game. We're impressing the love of our life. I promise I won't let you down. We're gonna find out which legendary brawler is the best. And with Spike coming in, I think in eighth place, that is probably not a brawler that's gonna end up on our list. All right, now Crow, don't get me wrong, is a solid brawler in his own right. Honestly, all of the legendary brawlers are pretty playable right now, to be honest, especially Crow having this shield now with this new gadget that puts in some crazy work. In all honestly, I shouldn't be anywhere close to the center of this map, right? Moving on, I shouldn't be anywhere close to the center of the map right there. As a crow, you gotta take your medicine, you gotta pet your cat, you gotta move on with your life and wait to throw your shield down inside of these one-on-one -on -one scenarios. Throwers like this, this uh, sprout right here are a big issue. We're just gonna have to keep on spraying and praying. Honestly, the goal for us is just to try try not to die. The goal for us is to try not to die. Stay away from this sprout at all costs. And once we get our super, if we ever get our super, we literally haven't done any damage all game long. Once we get our super, that's when we can actually make a play and do something inside of this game. So far, we've done literally nothing. We finally are going to get 25% of our super charged up. Let's make our way over here. This max is going to be an issue and we'll start spraying and praying on this side. Shield's going to be activated just to make sure max doesn't kill us, guys. We are going to play this a little bit early. That's going to give us the kill, though. 75% of the way to our super. This could be the legendary brawler that we need. This is so solid. Spike, obviously, is going to be the final boss inside of this one. Need a bear going ham. Need a going ham. All of the above. Super, so close. Super going to be activated right here. This is looking good. This is looking good. Pam, get out of my face, Pam. Pam, get out of my face. Okay, this, this is tough. This is tough. I'm going for second. I'm going for second. I got, I got second. That's worth it. That's worth in every sense of the word, Sprout. We're not going to touch the second best brawler inside of Brawl Stars, but Crow, number two. And that's going to be a tough mark to beat for both Sandy and Leon when it comes down to it. We didn't even wake Chief Cat up. Look at this fluffy little nose. Oh. Sorry, Chief Cat. Wait, what are you doing? No, please don't leave. I love you. Please. Please. Please just sit right here. I'll give you extra pets. I'll never leave you. Just lay right here. Look at this fluff. All right, Chief Cat, we're having a moment right now. I'm trying to keep her on Chief Cat cam. Leon's up next. Chief Cat, please. Bye. Hi. Hey. Don't flop that tail at me. Oh, guys, we're in trouble right now. We're in trouble. We're losing brawlers. We're getting second places. But most importantly, Chief Cat is getting sick of our stuff right now. Let's keep it gra gra moving, guys. 10 brawlers left. Can we pop? What was, what was that shot? We gotta be honest, what was that shot right there? That, that was bad. That was bad. All right, well, we've got two more legendary brawlers on this list. Leon and Sandy, both respectable brawlers in their own right. Honestly, Sandy does pretty well on this list. So if Sandy wants to claim the throne of number one brawler, guys, listen, we're gonna need like a, a wrestler, like a WWE belt or something. Shout out to Zaro, by the way, to uh, see if we can end up uh, giving out to the legendary brawler who's gonna end up winning this one. I'm treating this one seriously. I want Leon to get this dub right now. Leon, obviously, with one of the most troll, absolutely troll gadgets inside of all of Brawl Stars. Should we go ham? Should we hold on to it? Should we do something crazy? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, we should, we should probably move. No no mid-game cat pets. We got to learn from that one right there. All right, let's go and pop this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's how I like to do business. Getting that kill right there onto that tick. Ooh, crow. Is that the same crow that we were harassing earlier? Okay, well, now we're in a little bit of a pickle. We got to make sure that this primo doesn't just stun on us later on this game. Let's just wait this one out. And Visiheal obviously going to be able to keep us healthy if we ever need it. And guys, one OP thing about Leon's gadget is the fact that it sniffs out other brawlers for you. If you're worried that a brawler's nearby, all you have to do is just start going ham with your gadget. This Primo, I need Spike to help me out right here against this Primo if we want to end up killing him. Please. There we go. Just tickling him down for damage after damage, guys. You got to know who the final boss is. That's going to be the Primo inside of this one. Here comes the big boy damage. One brawler remaining. 
One brawler remaining. Honestly, I thought I was gonna juke that spike shot and somehow be able to turn it around right there. But unfortunately, Spike showing me how it's done for that legendary brawler. This spike on this side gonna be a nuisance. Gonna use him to open up this box for us, which is actually very nice. And guys, Sandy is gonna be the final brawler to try to pick up the win with. Traditionally, Sandy, not the greatest brawler inside of Solar Showdown, but this map right here actually doesn't bode too terribly for Sandy, just due to the fact that there's so many walls that you can angle your shots around. Sandy's gadget is a little bit troll, if I'm being honest with myself, guys. I've never been a huge fan of Sandy's gadget just because it takes so long to activate and use. So we'll see if it ends up being useful for us, guys. But if we have a spike pounding away, I doubt that we're going to be able to get ourselves a full heal. By the way, if you didn't see Sandy's heal inside a big boss, it was absolutely absurd. So let's see if we can do something right now. But this this spike is, is really triggering us. Spike is mad that we got eighth place on our first one. And uh, now we're just going to have to do something right here. Let's just start sprinting forward. Okay, that, that wasn't a good idea. Spike being a big issue he's being a big issue my rage is literally like one away from hitting him mm, please is there a rose in here i need i need a super so bad okay that rosa could have ended me right there could have ended me i would have been in financial shambles this is gonna financially ruin me all right six brawlers one dream let's go let's get out of here hopefully oh, Spike, please just leave us alone dude what do we want? We got to pick our poison right now. Do we want Rosa, who's just being a big nuisance, or do we want a Spike, who's just going to be absolutely miserable to have to deal with right now? Who is on this side? Is it a Tick? Is it a Daryl? It's a 10 power cube Daryl. Holy shnikes. Rosa's going to be on this side, though, which is perfect with our beautiful star power. Going to be able to make sure this Rosa goes down. Rosa has to get some heals or something. Rosa's going to go down to zero. Okay, three brawlers. Are we possibly going to be able to do something? This is where legends are made. Daryl, going to be an issue. Daryl, 11 cubes. Are we going to have a three-way tie? Relax. I thought I had him. I thought I had him. I thought I had him, boys. Play. Press F to pay respects. Even my cat's leaving me. Even my cat's leaving me. Look at this fluffy butt. Give me that fluffy butt. Huh? Well, after four tests and one fluffy cat, guys, we can only come to one conclusion at the end of today's video. Spike is absolute garbage and never play him ever again. Ever! ever. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do. Three more quick battles? Please, please. I just need, I just need one win. Just one. Mortis, don't you dare. Don't you dare, Mortis. Don't you. What is going on right now? My cat, my honor, my dignity. Come on, come on. All right, eight brawlers left, so let's do this. Ooh, that was a savage rock. Leon, Leon, Leon. Will you take this dub? What you gonna do, Primo? Get out of my face. Mortis. I'm sick of Mortises, man. I'm sick of Mortis. Oh, that is a greedy. Wait, I'm greedy. I'm so bad. Final battle, Sandy. Above rank five, and Sandy takes this dub. Is that really all it's gonna take? Man, I'm bad. All right, super is almost ready. If we get the super, it's a big fat GG easy. Give me that. What? How did I? What? Two takeaways from this video. One, I am terrible at Brawl Stars tonight. Number two, Crow is gonna be your best legendary brawler inside of the game. Don't take it from me, but according to this video, Crow got that dub. Hopefully that's what you guys guessed in the comment section below, but that's gonna wrap it up for now. I need to wash my hands. I don't know if it's the pressure of having Chief Cat next to me watching every single game, but it's throwing me off. We're gonna give Crow the WWE champion belt, but if you guys wanna guess who's gonna end up coming out on top in a later video, you can let me know, guys. Of course, use code PAT if you haven't already. Hit that bell, subscribe. 
And yeah, notifications, all the above. I am crazy. I am losing it. I am going to go snuggle Chief Cat and pray that I never have to play a legendary brawler ever again. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.